producer's point of view. The producer's point of view, we are back, back in the building. You already know what it is. Episode, excuse me, season 10, episode 7 right now. Lucky number 7. And we save 7 for Miss Annabelle. You from... You from um, Spain. Spain, right? <laughs> I, we gonna get into that. We gonna get all into that. But anyway, welcome to w- welcome to um, the producer's point of view. Thank you so much. The home where I get into everybody's business and how they produce their product and how you get your start and you know yada 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 and then whatever else I decide to go with from there. However, um, this is a important season because it's season ten. And um, it's going to be my 25th year in the business. So everybody I talk to now is like a reflection of the evolution of digital media. The conversation is going around now about, um, you know, how everything went from the Internet, from tapes to records to now. But you are an artist and a singer. And I'm going to find out what else you do, too. But we're going to get into the main thing that you do right now. So anyway, how's your how's it been living in New York City from Spain? Let's talk about that. It's been crazy. Um, but I'm so happy to be here. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, there's the accent. I didn't hear the accent <laughs> earlier. There you go. Like, you got relaxed and then the accent came in. Um, yeah, it's so different from Spain. So different. Um, the people, the, the culture, the food, everything's different. Mm-hmm. But I love it here. I'm so happy. Yes, I have a very close person to me that, that she's from Spain. So, But she, her accent is even crazy. She used to do a show up here, which would have been great. But she took a vacation. So she's no longer here. Mm-hmm. But shout out to Yasmin and shit. Yeah, Yas, I'm going to see if she can come do a special Spain edition with you so y'all can talk I can it, come back, yeah. talk that talk that Spain with talk. The yeah, cuz she knows everything about it. She's been living here for 7 years. So oh, wow. she's she's in New York now. And actually in the Bronx too. Oh. You're in the Bronx as well? In New Rochelle. Oh, New Rochelle. Uh, mm. it's a little close. I'm from the Bronx. So I know New Rochelle. Okay. That's like our cousins. They up the road there. Shout out to New New Rock, New Rock City. You been in New Rock City? Yeah. Yeah, no, you got on no, that that, that ride that shoots you up into the sky. Oh yeah, no, 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 you're not doing that. Okay, <laughs> no. she's so We're she's not, not she's not adventurous right now. No, no, no. All right, but she she lives in New York City, so that's adventure straight from yes. Spain. So how long you been in the city? So I've been coming back and forth for five years, six years now, and um, but I just moved here three months ago. Permanently. Or still going back and forth? I mean, I don't like to say permanently. It depends. Because right. you, you don't know. Takes right, right. Yeah. See, that's a good answer. Like, she's not getting settled in nowhere. I, I feel the same way a lot of times. Like, I'm in New York now. I might be in New Jersey tomorrow. I might be in Atlanta the next day. I might be in China. But, you know, in, in China. Yeah. Well, you were, you well traveled. So, you that is very possible for you. So, what's life like in Spain? I like I always like to get the home story so I can understand the, the trans. Because I know what New York is like. So, what's <laughs> Spain life like? So right now, when I go to Spain, I go there like for a month. And it's basically be with my friends, my family, go to good restaurants because right. that's the one thing I miss. Do your friends have a lot of questions about you living in New York? Like they ask they, about like the boroughs, Brooklyn, Queens. Or what, what's, the, what's the number one question you get? Are you crazy? Oh. <laughs> that's the number one question. Are they don't even crazy? ask questions because I don't think they understand the, how different it is. Um, also, I, my friends are not like artists. They're not in the industry. So, so what do they do? They just regular basic people. They just go to work and, why and you go say to it the like beach. That? <laughs> <laughs> basic people is crazy, right? And I'm that proud did of sound my crazy. friends and my family. Okay. I love All them. Right. No shade, no shade, <laughs> friends and family. When you watch this interview, I was just trying to figure out if you guys have goals and aspirations outside of just going to work every day. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Okay. Yeah. Back to Anima. So. Um, all right, so you starting a, a music career, did that come out of nowhere or was it inspired from, like, your family? Like, what, what made you get Definitely into it? Definitely not from my family. Um, so I was singing in school since I was, like, four, seven years old. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was nothing serious for me. It was right. just, I used to do a lot of things. You remember um, the first song you used to sing? Or the, which artist you used to mimic? Yeah, um, Beyonce's. Um, of course it would be Beyonce, be Beyonce, right? <laughs> Are you a beehive or two? It's, who? Are you part of the oh. beehive? Um, like, do you, do you live and die by everything she says, or you got mm, your own personality now? No. Oh, when I, you were seven. I don't seven. even know what she says. <laughs> I would love to. I just, I'm oh, just not, um, I'm not on the internet like that, you know? Oh, I'm, that's interesting. Yeah. So wait a minute, you, was, you lived in Spain, so y'all don't use the internet in Spain? No, we do. I'm talking I, about me. Like, oh, you, I'm uh, on the internet for my people. Like, okay. I'll be on Instagram all day, sing, like, 
see what my people do. Your people. Yeah. Got it. Now, you should be like that. I'm not on Instagram for nobody else but my people, too. Yeah. But because this is part of my, my daily, like, as far as promoting internet, radio, and and everything I got going on, I have to go on. But if I had a choice, I probably wouldn't uh, be so reluctant to be on um, social media all day because it's a lot of fakery and people running around mm. chasing numbers and Tell me about it. I know. you know clickbait and, and you know everything and you know what's going on in there yeah. but just, so um i don't talk to people as much as i wanted to mm-hmm. if i would like to so that's a way to like know what they got going on right kind of yeah it definitely know. is a good community i mean that's the original part of social media was to keep all media and be social but it exactly. just turned into this big business where it's like promo media now. It's like everything, everybody's putting a promo. And again, we're in the industry, so we know, you know, we got to get up there and, mm-hmm. and talk to people and play music and all that, but it shouldn't be pushed, like, to everybody, mm-hmm. to your point. Like, everybody's not there for that. So, mm-hmm. all right, so so basically... So yeah, it was a hobby, and then um, it didn't happen till I was 19 years old, 17 years old. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, mean, I just moved to the UK. I was in school. What part? What part? London. Um, London. Uh, I, I was got, in I Brighton, Brighton, okay. and London, and um, one weekend I just came back home. I was like, "Mom, I want to be a singer." Wow. My mom was crying. My stepdad was mad at me. Like, yo, you were supposed to be a doctor. Like, a what, doctor. what are we gonna do now? And but you could do both though. You could no. You no, know, you can't be a doctor and a singer. I tried one year, but no, because you know they're both. They both require all your energy, all right. your time. Okay. And I had to choose. And, and you chose I not went, to be a doctor. Yeah, what kind of doctor phone. would it have been? Or eye would, would it be an eye doctor? Yeah, because my stepdad I'm is sure you could get an online class for being an eye doctor. That's I not that serious. I don't think serious. so. <laughs> you know, you have to do surgery and all that. I know. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just downgrading everything that's major, right? <laughs> Like just you to be an that. entrepreneur, but you you chose my side, so now we have yeah. to we have to make fun of everybody else that does everything else because <laughs> we chose this crazy side, yeah. and you're doing it right now. You you connected with my guy Dante Ace, and that's that's yes. my that's my brother. Like we've been we've been cool for a very long time, and um, we did a lot of we broke a lot of records, and we broke a lot of different boundaries in the internet radio game, and it's out, it's good to see him still going, and for me to still you know be going as well too. So. Now we have you. So now you're from, we're not going to talk about Spain. Now you're in New York City and now you got to get in where you fit in here. So what was your, did you have to get a job when you came here or was you like a student when you first came? No, when I first came, I I came to actually try to be a singer. To so be a singer. I was coming with my, uh, okay, with my tourist visa. I'm like, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. Okay, yeah, with the tourist visa, I was just coming back and forth using the time that I had with right. that visa, you know? So they, they put you, coming from Spain, they put you on a tight certain amount of time you have to be here and then you have to go back? Yeah, with the tourist visa, you can be here three months. Three months? Yeah. Canada is six months. My son lives in Canada. So three, only three months? Yeah. And that puts a pressure on you. You got to get I was like, that's why I, I don't like to waste time when I'm in New York. In Spain, mm. all I do is waste time. <laughs> Right. But that sounds real? like that's part of the day. I've, no, I've heard y'all have like nap times. Y'all have like yeah. different tea times and Siesta. like everything is cool. Yeah. It's, it's called something, right? In Spain. With, yeah. What's it called? Siesta. Yeah. See, I need to go to Spain. She was she was telling me I need to go out there too. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. okay. I might I might have to take that trip because it sounds more relaxing than the, the hustle and bustle of New York City. You've been yeah. on the train before here? Yes. You like it? It's not a, it's not a it's big not, deal. It wasn't a good new experience like when you first did it? Mm, no, no, I I use the train. They have a train in Spain. Yeah, oh, see, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not a world. I've been to Germany before. That's the furthest on the other side. I've and been. they have trains too. Yeah, but yeah. I, I that was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. Like I'm, I'm showing you that I need to travel more. Like I, I had planned to Sounds move like around, and then the COVID happened, and they started acting crazy with the airport. So now I don't. True. So now the music. I heard the music. Um, new music, I heard old music, and I didn't have to even make a conclusion of the type. I didn't meet you. I didn't know your personality yet. So now it's it's, it's coming together now. Because if you came in here on a different type of energy, I'd be like, oh yeah, she's just a singer. Nah, but you actually sound like you're cool and you like to get things done and you you chill. You're not like all up in people's face. So what has the industry been like to you thus far? Like the, your perception of what it was before you got into it, watching Beyonce and then I guess whoever else you've seen on TV and now 
actually having to do media and moving around and going here and going there. You got a photo shoot with Splash Magazine. Like, what is it like being the star of the show? Um, it's definitely harder than it looks like mm -hmm. when you're not, like, in here. Um, I thought everything that's happening now would come later and everything's happening oh, so Oh, you fast. thought you could chill. You thought you had time to chill? I thought I would have time nah, You got to a like team. <laughs> you got a whole, you came in with a whole team. Again, you came through my man, Adonce, so you're here for a reason because yeah. he don't bring me nobody that's not here for a reason. So you didn't have no time to chill. No. Chill don't but pay the I'm, bills. But I'm happy, though. Like, I like good stress. Good stress, yeah. I like to be stressed if things are getting done. I live in adversity. Like, if things, I I, I, I need to wait to almost, like, the last minute. So, like, if I got to edit something or something like that, because if I can't do it when somebody else wants me to do it. I have to, when the creativity comes mm -hmm. to me, and or the deadline starts getting there, then I start to I start to think. So a little Feel bit about that. me. I'm a producer first. So I, I was making beats and you know on the, you know the, the equipment, and then I I started that in 2000. In 2002, I elevated into radio, and then from 2002 straight, I I've been more focused on the radio and the podcast and all that. But I still enjoy the production. So I used to be an engineer in my studio. I had before this studio, I had a studio with a producer. I mean with a booth two studios and everything so today like if you had a session or something you could go do an interview and then go in the next room and, and work on a song or whatever I had people like music music soul child there i had a whole lot of celebrities oh, wow. come through obviously you see cardi b there mm -hmm. nipsey hustle yeah. uh, j cole was one of the artists so I, i've been pleasure i've been in the pr privileged position to meet a lot of artists at the beginning of their careers so talking to someone like you now especially someone not from america it gives me a idea right this is what happens in other places, but then when you come to New York, this is you got to get on New York time because you could have went to Atlanta, you could have went to LA, and it would be a total different experience. Mm -hmm. New York I'm is sure. totally different when it comes to networking and going to events and all that because everything, like in this one space upstairs, is it's a studio. Um, I've been there. The uh, um, engine. engine room, right? Yeah. So again, you could be up in the engine room. Boom! You come down here. You can yeah. go downstairs. They have a, a a place called the Sound Sound Collector. Then you can go across the street to the Bull and That's take crazy. pictures. And then if you send it all to your people in Spain, they'll be like, you "Look like you did a whole bunch of stuff, but you is in, in one one block, right? You <laughs> yeah. can go around the corner and take pictures in front of the stock exchange, and it's like it's just yeah, New York is set up like but that. New York you know? is like this. And I love it. Though. And there's people outside just moving around. Yeah. Like, they, they don't care. Yeah. I have an idea. Before we go to get into your song, I have an idea to go out in front of the bull, you know, put my um, Blacks on Wall Street shirt on, put up, pull up a little banner, like, with all the logos on it, and just go ask questions about black Blacks on Wall Street That's or something. That's Because yeah, it's all Europeans. They all there, all day standing on the line. So I'm like, so, yeah. I, I, I could probably sell shirts, my mugs. <laughs> I could probably sell everything to them, right? Like, cause yeah. what it, they came here for something. Like, yeah. I'm also selling to you. Yeah. I just didn't Should get around that. to do it. I just got here in November. So I'm still, I didn't make a year yet in this location. But okay. I'm definitely doing that before the, um, the weather breaks. But anyway, enough about me. So t tell me about the first single that you have now that we're going to play. We're going to play My Baby. So My Baby... It's a Your cute baby. song. <laughs> yeah, baby. it's a cute yeah, my song. My baby. Right. <laughs> it's a cute Tell song. me about it. Um, what you want to know? I want to know, did you write it? Who produced it? Oh, now you want me to interview about it. I, did you write it? Did, uh, who produced it? And um, what was the inspiration in writing it? Like, what, what, what inspired it? Is it a true story or is this just something you came up with? So yeah. I didn't write it. Okay. So I feel so like then. all of your questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that just ends that, yeah. right? Okay. But all right. So the writer, did you have a connection with the writer or did they just send you the song? No, actually they... You, you can know, shout them out too. Yeah. We... So they send the songs and mm -hmm. we change the songs to make them oh, more so about me. You. So part of, parts of the song, we change that. Mm -hmm. Change the lyrics, change some melodies and stuff, you know, okay. to make it more. Do you produce? Do you, like, get on the piano or? I play, play piano, piano, but I, I don't do it now. Okay. So you like me. You, you, you. Oh, your nails. Yes. You can play piano, but you got the long nails. She got her nails is blinging. So show that again. Give it, give the close up on these nails. Her hands <laughs> is doing a lot. And these are actual tattoos. This is not uh, henna, right? No, no, no. This we're going to talk about these tattoos when we come oh back. God. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into my baby right here in the producer's point of view. Party 101.9. We'll be right back. Streaming online at Party1019.com. This is New York's number one for throwbacks. The new Party 1019, a Nexus radio station. All right. 
Lucy's point of view, that was Annabelle. How do you say your, your second name? Because I always mix that up. Ito. Yeah, that, that you got that. All right. <laughs> Annabelle Ito. Ito. Itola. Itoa. Ito. Itoa. See, that's why I didn't try to say it because I didn't want to mess it up. I'd rather stay good with you and not be on your bad side. Um, Party 101.9 is the station. The Matrix Studios is the brand. And iHeartRadio is how you're hearing us right now. All right, so that was my baby. And that's what we're rocking with right now. And I lo- it got a nice vibe to it. Sounds like mm-hmm. something that, that, that to get the, get the crowd going. So um, did you have fun creating that song? I did. did it come out? Did you have a vision? And then when you heard it after so, it was done? Um, I had to record this song like five times mm-hmm. because it was, um, the energy was different right. in the, every time I tried. And we keeping this one because that's this one, the only time this, I had fun. You got it actually. Right. Yeah. Was it your energy? Like something in the studio didn't, didn't engage you to um, be? You know, as we said, it's a lot going on. So, right. you know, sometimes you have to go to the studio and you don't have the energy yeah, see, right. that's but what you still have to go. <laughs> I do know that about being an artist. I, I I always wonder how do artists just stay up and ready to go. Some are just ready to be artists all the time, and then mm-hmm. I know some are a little more laid back. Like it sounds like you. Some days it's just not. Yeah, I want to be in Spain on the beach. Please. Like. During what what time of the day is that when they? It's six hours. Yeah. So yeah. So right now. I'm exactly. Eight hours right. So, all right, so here we go. Uh, you have three things. Now that we got that out the way, you got three things that you can do. I, I'm going to give you three options. You can only pick one, and you have, like, 30 days to do it. You can either produce, promote, produce, promote, or perform. I'm sorry, yeah, produce, promote, to the three Ps, these three Ps. Which one would you do and why, if you can only do one of those? Um, perform. Perform, and why? Because... I- <laughs> I, I wouldn't promote because I don't, I don't like to talk to people. Oh, and <laughs> it's hard to tell. Like You've been in here talking and for 20 minutes it's now. It's all about connection. Right. I feel like promoting, you have to talk to everybody. Oh, okay. You know? I got you. Um, and producing, uh, I mean, I would perform. Right. Because so you I don't you you could me. you've like skipped the studio like I don't need to be in the studio and or no I don't be on, be online but give me a stage and I'm good. I like to st- a lot of artists pick performing and performing is great because you can do all three at the same time. You could True. come up with a new style for an- another song, so that's producing, mm-hmm. and you can promote. You can be on stage with the mic saying, "Yo, make sure you go support True. my blah blah blah." So it, you can do all things at that at that one time. So that was a good answer. Mm-hmm. That was a safe answer, <laughs> safe answer to pick. So okay, so what are you working on a project right now, or is this um are you ju- are you just working the singles that you got right now? So we're gonna drop two singles, and mm-hmm. then I mean we're working on the tape. Mm-hmm. We don't have a date. We just you have a name. You have an idea of a name that you want to hold. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yo, she, yo, listen, y'all. This is season ten, episode seven. But I did take some time off to get back to the season, right? And th- I'm getting my workout right now because this girl right here is, she's giving me the look like, yeah, I, I want, I'm here, but I don't really want to be here, and I'm just like, I. Right. <laughs> no, I want to be here. Nah, okay, that's what your mouth say. Uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see. I'm gonna talk to your team when you're walking out the building. Oh, God. Put a bug on you, and you're like, that guy was annoying. Like, why did you even bring me no, there? No, you're not. Nah, I know. I know that. I'm just, I'm just trolling myself. I told you myself. we have a connection. That's why I'm here. Okay, and I'm good. having fun. All right. See, Thadi? I see, but I don't look at her when she says that, Thadi. I just, I hear her <laughs> saying it, <laughs> but I'm just going to look over here at Run DMC and them on the board because we don't look pretty girls in the face. That's just the rule of radio. Like, we don't want to get, all. yeah, Thadi's back there saying, you know, he got to fall back. So, all right. So, tell me about, all right, let's 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 get into that because, all right, the internet, you don't be on it a lot, but there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of wars of dating, a lot of, you're an R&B singer, so do you pull from the, the shenanigans that happen online to create new songs? Like, do you find that, do you get inspired by that or you, you mm-hmm. only write about things that you know and care about? Nah, I <laughs> I write about things. All my songs, I'm not going to lie, are about what I feel. Which about you people be. Okay. most of the time. Okay. About people. So, yeah. Pretty so, I have my, my, my partner, so I do, a, I do another show with King Sheik and she... She's supposed to be meeting us up up in the Bronx, right? And okay. she's like, she must have been watching. She's like, 
why I got to go to the Bronx if she's at the studio now. I'm like, because that's not what we doing right now. Like, we are doing what we're doing this right now. She has to go. We can't stay here all day. But um, I think because she probably was off today and she could have made it earlier, so I probably should have asked her. But I think I, I wanted to have a different location for you, so okay. she'll be there. Okay. Um, <laughs> but um, what's, what was interesting about her, I had, her, I had set up everything that I needed to set up for you, right? And then she must have seen... You, the promo thing and she was just like oh I want to interview Annabelle too that was off our own strength so I don't know if she went and looked up your your Instagram or she just found you interesting you know because she does a lot of dope big interviews with a lot of big artists so that I felt I felt honored that she actually did her reach and she's she's like one of my new personalities but she really reached out to you so she'll be looking forward to talking to you later I'm, I'm not going to read what else she said because she might have said something different <laughs> <laughs> so um, do you have a favorite producer that you work with now? That you got a connection with? <laughs> um, Yo, not, not like listen, y'all. Y'all can't see <laughs> on the back. She done came in. She done came with the manager. The the other. I don't even know where everybody's role. I'm just giving everybody a role. <laughs> yeah, so she got role. she got the manager. She got the the uh, what you call that? The stylist. And she got her camera guy. Like and they're just over there doing what they doing. Just watching what we do. And she's just over here trolling me right now. And I'm just like, why? What is happening with the Spain women? <laughs> Um, now, you know, I'm, I think I connected with three producers mm -hmm. so far in my career. Um, you know, I'll just keep trying. All know. right. So in, in terms of styles of music, yeah. when, when you were in Spain, what was your, what did you listen to? I know you like Beyonce, but did you, <laughs> was you, are you into trap? Are you into uh, drill? Are you into, like, are you into anything else outside of R&B that, that you actually like rock and roll? Country music, I don't know. It could be. I don't know what it's like to be in Spain, speaking mm -hmm. a whole other language. But people love American music to the point where it's like you can have an accent, a Spain, a Spanish accent, but still sing the songs in English, which my, it trips my brain all the time that y'all can do that. I mean, so I listen to reggaeton. Okay, you know, that's close to home. Okay. Yeah, but not that much. Like I actually listen to R and B, hip hop, even pop, mm -hmm. like. And I don't know why I just connect better with American music. So I know why, but okay, if you don't, know, you want I mean, me to tell you why, or you you want to? Tell me why. why? I mean, because that's where the money's at. <laughs> <laughs> what what else? Like you, oh, you ain't in Spain no more. You over here with us now. You trying to get to this American dollar? Is Spain dollar stronger than American dollar or no? Um, you know it changes. Like one day you can wake up, like it's so close. Right. We're not gonna lie. Oh, so, okay, it's close. Yeah, All right, good. You can wake up and it's. Like cheaper. And so this is a. Let me ask you this: from from you being here, going through all the political stuff, going back and forth, and now we have a woman running for president, which she's most likely going to win, and a woman that you know represents the majority of of the people here. Um, th is, does that inspire you as well when you see that, like to want to live in New York now because we're going to have a we're going to have a woman president? I mean, a lot of women like inspire me. Mm -hmm. First one is my mom. Oh, so. give her a round of applause for her mom. Yeah. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. You're, you're taking good care of her over here. Don't worry about it. She's safe. She's um, you know, I'm surrounded by a lot of strong women mm -hmm. that prove over and over again that you can be a woman and just do right. whatever you want to do. I know it wasn't like that. Like, my grandmother wasn't in, in, this, in a generation like this. Mm -hmm. So my mom just made sure she taught me like she you can do you right. anything you want yeah i love that for i love that for mom too um mm -hmm. because that was i don't know I, I don't ask women their age i'm very seasoned as a man to know i got two sisters and i, I know got a lot of women friends so i know how to handle women so okay. <laughs> what we're not going to do is ask you your age I, I can figure it out based off of knowing what i know but um but oh. your mom sounds like a very inspirational influential Jeez. woman in your life so Jeez. Shout out to mom again. So, all right. So, <clears throat> we have we have the music out. You got you on this crazy media, media run. Excuse me. You're on this crazy media, media run, which won't stop. You're going to do it. And <laughs> then what, what happens is other people see you because now they're like, oh, I want to interview her. Too, and now other people are going to be reaching out to you. So, this is like the you strike the match. And the biggest part of it is you're going to get to bigger stages and bigger stations. And this is the best place. Like I said, the people that... I've interviewed and the people that I put on. So I've, I've trained people how to do podcasting and then they get good at it. And then 
what happens is it keeps growing and growing and growing. So it goes from one show, two shows, three shows, four shows, 40 shows a week. So we got all these people coming through and all, everybody's just talking, talking, talking. And it's a network now. So now I, whatever I post, people are going to see it. They're going to tag it. They're going to like it. And then that's the beauty of social media. And what's that's, the problem with that? There's no problem. But you, you had a problem with social media. No, I don't. Oh, now we don't. I'm going to go <laughs> rewind this video back. You said you don't <laughs> like social media. But no, you, you're right. Um, there is no problem with that. And the beauty thing is, the beautiful thing apart about that is it helps you know, the algorithm of life of when you go through the, the doors of these other stations and networks that you ready, like you done talk to people like me and Ty Chung you had, and you was on a call the other day, a media call. So by the time you get to do something on another level, you like, yeah, I did all this already. I got my, I got it in. So, um, then that's what I pride myself on. I like being on this level. I don't, mm -hmm. I could have been on whatever level in the world because I'm, I'm not dope, but I like, to help people on this level. And I make, you know, I, I make my living how I need to make it. So I'm not like struggling or nothing like that. So um, we all have our path and our pos uh, passions and mm -hmm. purpose. I live for the purpose. So, yes. and I teach kids now too. So I'm, I'm in the school teaching children. Now I'm trying to pull your heartstrings. Teaching kids how to um, do podcasting. And that's the, oh. one of my joyous things to do because to watch them talk and then to, to them to emulate and then come up with new ideas and all that from the equipment that I put in front of them makes me understand how to deal with adults and kids. And a lot of times we're all like the same, That's you know, beautiful. we just mature in a way that we know how to do certain things. But mm -hmm. when it comes to being creative, like some of those kids are super creative too. So um, wow. kudos yeah. to the creative kids. So, all right, so th this is the part where I got to let you go because you got somewhere else to be, and I know the clock is ticking. Um, but is there anything else that you would like to leave with the people? Because this will get seen by some thousands of people, and I don't want you to forget to tell them something that you want to tell them to oh, pay attention man. for, look out for. I mean, this just was your best just interview that you ever had. You could say that, too, and I it's cool. You could say that, like, right now, and it's nah, cool. No, actually, I'm, I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. Before okay. starting I, you, the interview, you know, I could tell how you see it. You wanna know how? Okay. Let's see if you know how. This is part of my uh, DSNU. How did you know? If you, when people are moving in the chair like this, oh god, yeah, that's the, <laughs> that. Okay. That's the nerves right there, because you know. And then I teach people just. So I'm gonna show you. Just put your arms somewhere that will oh. keep you. It, that'll keep you still, and then you won't move your legs. If you leave your arms off, you're gonna swing. Okay. And Thank you don't want to be swinging, and you don't want to chew gum. Or, you know, nothing crazy like that. You want to just be focused on that. That's my DWI pie father tip of the day for Annabelle. And you, you did well. You did well. Thank you so much. But, okay. yeah, um, thank you for having me here. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun. Um, Can you say something in Spanish, like, before you leave? Like, maybe say, like, the station name or something. I, I love <laughs> the Spanish accent. See, Daddy, I was trying to be cool about it. And then Pero Daddy no had to remind me. I don't. I, I could say a couple of words. Sí. Ah. Sí, and Guy at La Boca. Oh and my like, God. I learned from the Puerto Ricans <laughs> in the Bronx, okay? So you don't want me to okay. give you my Bronx Spanish. No, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Muchas gracias. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you Muchas so much gracias. for having me here. <laughs> um, so the station is I Heart Radio, mm -hmm. right? I'm so mm -hmm. happy to be here um, with D W I. Do you want to know what that stands for? Please. Damien Williams Influence. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now nah, you're not driving while intoxicated. <laughs> we don't do that. Especially with a three-month visa, we don't do that because you <laughs> definitely will get sent up out of here, deported, and won't have a chance to I come back. I don't have that one no more. Oh, you got a six-month now? They upgraded you? Five years. <laughs> Yo, look. This girl, she, she done found some people who's up in the Bronx to get, give her the long, the long extended visa, the Bronx edition. <laughs> All right, that was Annabelle. I'm not trying to say her last name. You can say your last name. So Annabelle Yeah. You can see. follow me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. At and sign. And yeah. yeah. And um, the music will be playing here every day on Party 101.9, uh, iHeartRadio. So if you... Don't catch it on any of the streaming sites. You can definitely tune in every day. Um, she's in heavy rotation, and that's what it is. Thank you for coming to Thank the show. You. Thank and you so much. Yeah, hearts <laughs> and, and glossy uh, glitter fingers, and we out of here. The new party 1019. The, the new party 1019. The new party 1019. New York's number one for throwbacks. The, 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 the DWI Music. music.